I record this interview? Yes. Okay. Sure, sir. Can. That's great. That's great. Good to know. So, hello, Manoj. Uh, can you give me a quick introduction about yourself? Yes, sure, sir. <clears throat> My name is Manoj Kumar, and uh, basically, I belong from the district Jaunpur, U. <laughs> and uh, I currently am living in Delhi. And uh, now come to my education qualification. I have completed my schooling in Priyagraj and uh, completed my graduation from Purvanchal University. And uh, I have a diploma in computer hardware networking from Roman Technology. And uh, I have more than five years experience in uh, IT line for hard desktop support engineer uh, for L1 and L2 level. And I have handled the uh, at the Bajaj Alliance side for its insurance company, as uh, everyone knows. And I have uh, one year experience in uh, data inventory management uh, for uh, food corporation industry uh, in uh, Singapore. And wow. uh, currently, uh, I am doing a internship uh, for as a Python developer. Mm -hmm. And uh, my hobby is playing cricket and internet shopping. And uh, I think that's it, you know, for me. Sir. That's great. That's good to know. Uh, so, Manoj, uh, you talked about your work experience as well. So. Have you, do you have yes. any relevant experience in Python? Uh, no, sir. I don't have any uh, uh, experience in Python. Okay, so you're basically a fresher in Python. Yes. That's, yes. that's good. That's good to know. So, uh, Manoj, can you also tell me uh, that if you wanted to rate yourself from 1 to 10 in Python, how much would you rate? Mm. Uh, sir, currently I will go to 5 and 6. Five and six, so which means you're learning, you're still building things. Yes, okay. yes. So have you worked on any projects as such? Uh, yes, sir. I have did uh, one project for library management system. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Got it. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, as you have rated around five to six, so I'll be sticking to the basics. So can you tell me uh, yes. what is a list comprehension in Python? Uh, list comprehension uh, uh, with the help of the uh, truly I said I cannot explain the list comprehension but I can tell you the list what is the list and uh, how the method we use for list I can explain that um, okay so what is the difference between a list and a tuple uh, list uh, list is a, a mutable major thing is list is a, a mutable uh, data type and the tuple is immutable data type uh, list can store the uh, multiple types of values and uh, we can change the value in list we uh, define in the square bracket uh, sorry uh, parenthesis and uh, now your list we define in the parent, uh, square bracket and tuple we define in the parenthesis uh, okay. in the parenthesis okay so uh let's say i want to index few elements so can i yes, do sir. it in list or can i do it in tuple uh if we want to indexing uh in the uh, in the elements we can use uh, go for uh, the uh, list list okay not tuple uh, if we define the value we cannot do in the tuple sir. so which means if i want to do if i have a tuple t is equal to parenthesis one two three and if I do T of zero, I can't do that. I think I cannot. Sir. Okay. Cannot. Okay. So, uh, can you also tell me what, um, how can you differentiate between a dictionary and a set? Uh, dictionary have a with a key and value pair. And it's in the ordered form, and uh, in the set uh, we got output in the in ordered form. Okay. We cannot define any order. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. Yes. So let's say you have a dictionary, empty dictionary, yes. which is only yes. curly brackets. Okay, curly yes. brackets. Is it an empty dictionary or is it is it an empty set? No idea. Sir, it's about this. So you know, right? What is a curly bracket? I I know, I know curly bracket. So if I create S is equal to curly bracket empty, is it a set or is it a dictionary? I think it will be set, sir, because in uh, dictionary we have the uh, value and pair, and okay. in set is only uh, we can uh, one index uh, can okay. say, but I'm not sure sir, about it. Okay, okay, yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, so do you know what is a decorator in Python? 
uh, yes sir i know the decorator so can you give me a use that where a decorator can be used in python uh so for decorator we, we use the to decorate the our code uh, we can define like just say at the crs at csr of any properties if you define we cannot uh, uh, revise we cannot uh, the code again and again we use the property uh, we can uh, run program from the uh, the single property from there we no need to uh, write the code plan again again and again got something it. like that got it okay so do you know what is a generator uh yes sir a generator uh with the help of generator is uh, we use the keyword yield and uh, like uh, with the help of generator uh, yield keyword we can uh, print the value of uh, next and next uh, like we can define the value like a range we can uh, the print the value uh, from range next to next uh, the print uh, print statement with the help of yield keyword got it okay so uh, so it's, it's pretty much uh, all about the basics i'll ask one last question related to the basics do you know file operations in python uh, i didn't remember if uh, no 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 sir you you should have done some file operations right in in your whenever you were trying to learn python there must be some file you open a file you read from a file uh, read write read write uh, that one right sir yeah that's what yes, i was sir. asking Yeah, okay. Yeah, thanks, so, can you tell me some modes of um, read, write, or maybe file operations? What all modes are uh, there in Python? I did have a number two, sir. Uh, but I have remember we use uh, something UTF-8. Uh, that is encoding. Sir. I'm asking yeah, for mode. Know. For example, R W R plus okay. W plus A. These all are the modes. Okay, I think that's fine. Uh, so, can you also tell me uh, uh, what is exception handling? It's a final try uh, and finally exception uh, try statement. Finally statement. Mm -hmm. okay. What does it do? Uh, I don't. I don't know okay. nothing. Okay, it's completely fine. Okay, so um, if you can share your screen, let's do some code program. Yes, sir. Can I share my screen, sir? Yeah, yeah, you can share your screen. Okay. Uh, now, yeah, can you write a program to input a list where you can basically input comma separated value and it should automatically be converted to a list. For example, your input should be one comma two comma three comma four, and it will automatically be converted to a list. Are you facing any problems while taking input? Yeah, sir. You are taking a lot of time. Um, you can skip it. I think it's taking a lot of time. Okay. So yeah, you you can skip it. You can stop the screen sharing. Okay. So uh, okay. So do you know some Django as well? Ah uh, yes, sir. Okay. So in Django, what all different types of authentication are available? Uh, it's a sir uh, basic authentication, session authentication, and uh, custom authentication. And uh, have you heard about JWT? Yes, sir. JWT authentication. Is so what is the full form of JWT? Okay, no worries. So can you tell me the different OOPs concepts in Python? Uh, sorry, sir. Can you repeat question again? Yeah. Can you tell the different OOPs concepts, object-oriented programming concepts? Uh, is yes, sir uh, inheritance, uh, polymorphism, encapsulation, and uh, what? Uh, polymorphism, inheritance, encapsulation. It's a total four have uh, inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation, and uh, abstraction. Abstraction. Yes. Yeah. Can you explain abstraction? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Can you explain polymorphism? Uh, Yes, sir. It's uh, a but uh, polymorphism. Uh, it's like work like it's the operator overloading, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a uh, bundling uh, the data and uh, uh, it's bundling the data and objects uh, together, and uh, it hides uh, 
the and like that was encapsulation okay that's fine uh, so can you tell me um, what how you can improve the security of a django application uh, we can uh, use for uh, jw2 authentication otherwise uh, we can use for basic authentication also uh, for login and uh, forms login logout forms we can use uh, session authentication uh, sorry uh, basic authentication and uh, after the logging uh, if user is logging uh, in the our page in our pages and uh, so we can use for session authentication it will be expire in 5 uh, to 10 seconds we can define the uh, uh, time uh, time with the help of session authentication okay so what is the difference between filter and get in django orm uh, sir uh, in uh, in a django uh, get uh, with the help of uh, in, uh, in, no in django get uh, will throw the error if he did not get the uh, matched objects uh, in, uh, reset and uh, we need, need to uh, unique id uh, 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 get uh, get filter we can use for update also we can use a uh, filter for uh, for updation okay okay filter can be used for update and get can't be used for update i think yes okay okay so can you tell me what is the use of um, middlewares in django uh yes middleware is a uh, basically uh, i forget already okay okay that's fine no no worries so do you know some sql as well uh no sir i don't okay actually i know but i didn't any command of okay uh, query set sir so can you tell me the difference between a set and a queue set and queue hmm. no sir okay can you tell me what is a stack no sir okay okay no worries so okay i think uh, i think that's all from my side any any question that you want to ask me no sir today i don't have any question okay okay yeah that's why i think uh, you can i'll give you a feedback later but i think you need to polish your basics as well and uh, work on some code as well so yeah i think that's all from my side thank you okay sir thank you